It's actually the end of, of, a, of a bunch of swan song. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and now, um, like when it comes to writing a Foxy Shazam song, like what would you say is the main or are, like the sources for like lyrical inspiration on this album? Because if I spend one more week with the line of "Life is a bitch," which is totally doable in my head, I might just like drive my car off the side of the road. Yeah. It's just so catchy, and sometimes you have to, like there are these lines that like if I, like if I was just sitting down and reading through, I'd be like, I have no idea what's happening. Well, promise But then me. it like just like rattles in your brain forever, and it's so so. Um, yeah. I really get into how the style works. Well, so, thank like, you. Where does this come and, from? And you're actually talking to the right guys because me and Alex are, are the ones who write all the lyrics in the band, but. Just do me a favor and promise me that you won't drive your car off. Of <laughs> yeah. um, like the worst of all ever. Yeah, I'm doing all stories this weekend. Someone already was like, no. <laughs> no. Don't drive. Don't promise. Okay. I promise. Okay. But, anyway, uh, me and Alex uh, wrote the lyrics to that song, uh, Bye Bye Symphony. And that's just what we think life is. It's like, it defines life completely. It's, it's Life is silly. Life is goofy. But at the same time, you can kind of sit down and think about it for a while and it becomes serious. That line is awesome because... Most people on the first listen will think, you know, they'll completely disregard it and say, this is a goofy line, it's funny, I, I laugh at it. But if you really sit down and think about it, it's, much deeper. it's completely true. And, and it's it's not sophomoric. It's it's very, very serious. We didn't write that line to be funny. We wrote that line to be completely serious. That's how we feel life is. It's, life's a bitch, but she's totally doable. Yeah. Life can be mean and harsh and not give you the things that you want, but doesn't matter, you can still get through that. You, you can, can fail you can fail tests, you can fail you can get eaten by a shark, yep. you can uh you can you know You can drive you your can, car off a cliff. You can yeah. drive your car off a cliff, you can get hooked to drugs, you can get hooked to alcohol, you can have bad parents, you can have a good parent. There's there's so many there's so many different ways to look at life and that line just kinda defines it all for us. For me and him and the rest of the band. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a great song. Definitely want to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. And that, that, that also defines the album as a whole. It's just a very, it's a very, it walks that line. This album walks that line very, very carefully. Now, on your tours right now, how much of the new album is getting into a lot of impact? I've seen videos of Wannabe Angel, obviously, being one that's been uh, coming up. Well, on this yeah. tour, playing a lot of, a lot of new stuff. Yeah. Under our we're playing a lot of new stuff, but at the same time, we're playing a lot of old stuff, just to let people know that they, we're still Foxy Shazam. You know, this is just the next record of Foxy Shazam. Uh, people always get turned off when bands do things new, but that's stupid. Why? Like, you, what do you want me to make the same record twice? Um, you know, you'd probably be pretty upset if they made a Titanic Part Two. It wouldn't be very interesting. You know, the ship can only sink sink once. The ship sank, and now we build a new one, and here we are. It's <laughs> an interesting metaphor. Thanks. For what's been a pretty successful period of looking at the sunken ship on the second attempt. Yeah, the, the ship sinks, and then you just build a new one. Don't, don't make a part two about the same ship that sank. It's at the bottom of the ocean. Forget so about it. Forget about it. Not everything needs a sequel. Yeah. yeah. Or a remake. Yeah. yeah. Start a new one. Now, uh, there's a couple Tim, bands left. Tim Burton, start Tim a new Burton. movie. <laughs> yeah. Make a new movie. Don't stop. Stop making Alice in Wonderland. Stop making yeah. Willy Wonka. Just make a new movie. Make a new movie. That's all we're saying. That's all we're saying. I'm I'm Tim Burton. The original. Yeah. Like, your movies are great. Just, just make a movie that's you. Now, we have a couple of bands tonight before you guys go on stage. What is the pre pre performance Foxy Shazam routine? What do you guys do right before you go? Absolutely nothing. Now, I've heard rumors that uh, a couple of you guys like to do a couple shots maybe for a hidden stage. Well, I mean, sometimes whiskey isn't a bad thing. You want a little bit. Just a little for, bit is not for, a bad thing. For your vocal cords. You know what we're I think, not going out of control. You know what I think it is? I think a lot of, a, a couple of the members of this band are inspired completely by Pantera. And um, Dimebag Darrell always said that, you know, you should take a shot before you go on stage. So I think that's where that, that rumor comes from. But for the most part, that's not that's definitely not something we rely on. I think uh, uh, the biggest thing for us is, is just to kind of get in, in the spirit of things. Um, the spirit is a big thing for this band. 
I definitely think there's a there's an image of Foxy Shazam as like a big party band. So I thought it would kind of be an interesting uh, question to read because I, I, I like there's so much fun to the music that it obviously alludes to whatever. Yeah. Here, here's here's an interesting thing. Okay. A lot of people say that image is nothing. It's all about the music. Who cares? Wear whatever you wear. Do whatever you do. Whatever. But that's not the case. Take it from me. I swear to God, image is just as important as the music, and I'll tell you why. It's not so that people in the mall will, will like your music because of this the fit of pants you wear. That's not, that's not the reason. The reason is because it's a whole lot easier to understand a sound if you can see it. If you can see what a sound looks like, you get the sound better. As long, if you can see what anything looks like, you get it better, you know? If you hear something on the radio, you don't understand it as much as if you saw it on MTV. That's why MTV was so significant to music, is because you could see what the music looks like, and that's an important part of music. It's just as important as the sound, the way you look. It's the same thing. Look and music. Look, sound, and, and taste. Good. Smell you. Mm -hmm. Smell? The way you smell. The way you smell, the way you taste, the way you look, and the way that you sound. It's all just important. It's all so important. Don't ignore any, you know, if you're in a band, let me just tell you, make sure you, 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 you focus on every aspect of your band. It's, it's very obvious, and like, I think in the visual representation and the music, it's just, it's very obvious there's a lot of time and effort in every little aspect of it. Yeah, that's... Everything cool. seems just how you want it to be. Exactly, for sure. That's uh, that's pretty admirable. A lot of bands like to just have to stick with it as you guys have and uh, keep evolving it. It's commendable. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. You deserve to be commended. Now, uh, I can hear the other band's going to go on, so let's get to future plans. What, after next week, album comes out, stream it on the site, this tour wraps up, what's next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. Our ultimate goal as a band is to go down in history, to be the biggest band in the world, go down the rock and roll hall of fame doing what we do and I know that we're a long way from that goal but this next record is, is, is a good step in that direction and there is nothing else besides that ultimate goal you know that's at the end of the tunnel whatever else comes is, is fine but that's where we're going to be in the future that is our future anything that happens next is just the next stepping stone to get to that goal yeah so I don't cry situation mm -hmm. we're going to be um we're going to be doing a lot of stuff this summer. We're going to be completely busy supporting the record, so you'll see us. You'll be seeing a lot of us. Well, these guys will be all over the summer. Make sure you catch them. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things about their live show. I'm going to actually see it for the first time myself tonight. Pretty excited in person anyway. Thank you. Make sure you pick up the album next week. It is unbelievably good. It's so great. It's very unique. It's original. I'm going to stop boosting your egos now. But good Thank job, you. guys. Thanks, man. Definitely pick it up. We'll be streaming it on the site if you want to check it out beforehand. Also on their MySpace. Befriend them, follow them, whatever. They're very friendly, talk back types. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This has been James for UTG TV. Thank you. Bye. See you later.